Can Team India keep it up and keep picking up these wins in this India versus USA competition? Folks, we'll be back with more action. This is K1L here from Mumbai. Govind Ali takes on Mohammed Gamal. Let's get things cracking and send it up to the one and only Carlos Kramer to bring out the competitors. Right, let's keep this incredible K1L showing and welcome our next warrior into the cage. Representing India, give it up for Govind Ali. And here comes Govin Ale making the walk here in Mumbai, representing Team India as he's going to try to keep that momentum going. Govin Ale, a tremendous competitor, very, very confident coming into this fight. We saw him at the weigh-ins. 100% focus is Govin Ale, and he is going to have to bring it if he wants to pick up a victory here at K1L. And you talk about it. I mean, talk about this now, Nate. 1-0 for India. If they can pick up another win right here and keep that momentum going, they're going to be a surefire winner here. They're going to take home that beautiful championship belt. Govind Ale, he has an opportunity to increase that lead. It's such a different mindset, fighting under the team aspect of it. I remember back in the International Fight League days. Love the IFL. The IFL with the Wolfpack in my hometown, yes. the Portland area where if your team was losing and you had the chance, even if you were so far behind, it filled you with just this burning rage. No doubt, let's go back to Carlos. And let's welcome his opponent into the cage, representing UAE. Give it up for the executioner, Mohammed Gamal. Oh, Looking like a million bucks, had him haters running. And running here comes Mohammed Gamal, our next competitor. Representing the UAE, and he's going to look to sell his big Tanun. Of course, Gamal showing off some Bushido moves. Look like he had a sword, is really to, ready to do some damage. Absolutely. Well, he has to even the score here, and he has to make things interesting with this matchup. And, and we're going to see if Kamal can indeed do that. Electricity all over this. For Tyson. Oh. They have been flooding him, the paparazzi, everybody following him around. It's been intense. Even people that just look like Mike Tyson are, are getting followed around, just in case. We'll take a look at the height advantage. We'll go to Gamal, but very similar records here. Undefeated at 5 0 is Gamal, 5 1 for Govinda Lake. 25 27. These guys are very, very similar. Who wants it more? The big time weight advantage that will go to Ale. He has nine pounds uh, weight advantage over Gamal. Let's send it up to Carlos Kramer. He has your introductions. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is three five rounds in the flyweight division. Introducing your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of five wins and one loss. He stands 166 centimeters tall and weighs already 134.9 pounds. Representing India, put your hands together for Govind Ali. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a perfect record of five wins and no losses. He stands 168 centimeters tall and weighs already 126.1 pounds. Representing Team Saras Hands and the UAE. Give it up for the executioner, Mohammed Gamal. Shooting the, uh, the free is Dan Mergliota. Shooting the invisible shotgun, by the way. First he had the invisible sword, <laughs> now he's got the invisible shotgun. This he, man is prepared. He brought an invisible 
uh, Arsenal along with him. So here we go. How we got that fast security, I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, Mr. Corey. <laughs> And uh, big matchup here, of course. We are now in the flyweight division. But as we saw in our prelims, that doesn't mean anything. Big finishes in our prelims, a knockout and a first-round submission. So here we go. In the blue, Team India's Govind Ali taking on Muhammad Gamal. Good movement, good range. Throwing those low kicks, following them up with some punches. Looking to catch that kick if it stays out there long enough. Maybe follow the takedown. Ooh, take nice. Nice left lands. Should be getting a point for that one. Gamal. And now the score is sitting at one to one. You can watch right there on your screen. And oh. a big lunging Another straight left. left. Gamal bringing it. You're talking about guys with similar experience here. And this is kind of a, a reflection on the talent in, in each other's region. You know, who's going to be the tougher fighter here? If you can go 5-0 and in the Middle East, or if you get 5-0 and in India, who's going to be the stronger fighter? Now, now you're going to decide that. Yeah, it's so much about fighting is the matchup. Get the right guys. Oh, oh, oh no. A down kick. Is well, he, he knew that he made the mistake, so. And, and I don't think that Ale is going to have a problem with that. I mean, that was totally unintentional. He, he had already been throwing the kick. Uh, when he was on his way down. So definitely not going to get penalized for that. He will get the warning, though. And it looks like there's been no damage with that. Hug it out. Great great show of sports. Hug it out, baby. Hug it out. <laughs> Hug it out. We'll go back to trying to kill each other. Vendale <laughs> <laughs> is getting the chance from the crowd here. Definitely a favorite of the crowd. Once again, Team India sitting at 1-0 and oh in our official tally here. And, of course, the big championship belt, diamond encrusted, is uh, is definitely at stake here. Which team going to take it home? Is it going to be Mohammed Ali Budwani and his Team India, or is it going to be Sheikh Tanun and Team UAE? A couple kicks there that have been. Wow, and he takes a big one. Govind Ali landed a big right hand. Gamal oh, may be hurt, stop. but Gamal gets right back up. Now let's see where the score lands after that huge exchange. It looks like we're sitting at four and two. Team India's up. They're landing these body kicks well, but they're getting caught as well. Tight round. Counter punches, landing. These are the combinations that we needed in the last fight. 100%. We're seeing a lot of aggression out of these flyweights. And, you know, this is a division that really was nothing just about six, seven years ago and uh, has turned into one of the most exciting divisions in all of mixed martial arts. Some incredible agile fighters uh, in these divisions. As we've seen, there's actually some power as well. Oh! Down he goes. And down he goes. And down he stays. Beautiful shot. There it is. And India just went up 2-0. Govind Ale with a beautiful combination. And that was something special. Nate Quarry, how about that shot right on the money? And look at Ale there, trying to help him regain his posture. And, you know, actually, I've talked to paramedics, and they say that they don't like when fighters help them out with that. <laughs> of course Because not. they can actually do a little bit more damage than they can do help. But that right. was beautiful, and Heart's I want to see the right replay. Place. You know, the heart definitely in the right place. Sportsmanship. For sure. Here that, we go. Look at it. The takedown shot. Goes for that left kick. The straight left landed as the counter. That's all Mergulata needed to see. And Team India has reigned it supreme so far. This could be a clean sweep across the board. There's the stuff in the takedown and that left right on the button. Right on the chin. Must see TV. Must see MMA. That was textbook because we saw... Gamal come in with the takedown. Ale stuffed it. Gamal threw the kick, and Ale countered with the left. This is some progressive fighting there. It's it's a flow. You take the shot, it gets stuffed. You follow up with the combination. That gets countered. You get the knockdown, and you follow up with the punches to finish it off. Stuff, left, right on the chin. And this highlight reel just keeps on building, Nate. We are going to have something special by the end of the night if there's any indication as we see our first finish on the main card is Team India 
continues to extend the lead. If we're going by the official results by the main card, Team India is up 2-0 to 0 at this point. If we dip into the prelims, they're sitting at 4-0 right now. Team UAE has not tasted a win yet. That is surprising. That's got to be tough to go back to that locker room with no wins so far, four fights in. Just incredible action here from Mumbai, India. The NSCI Dome. Cyrus Fees alongside Nate Rock Quarry. And what a victory there. Gamal seems to be uninjured. That's always the biggest thing. You want to win, but you don't want to damage your opponent. This is his sport, his livelihood as well. And you see, again, that great sportsmanship, the concern. The fight's over, and now you can be friends again. Certainly. Uh, some people can be friends before the fight, even during the fight. Uh, I'm not that guy. <laughs> You're not that guy, Gordon? I'm not that guy. I'm going to take are. food out of my daughter's mouth. We cannot be friends. No, time. yeah, fair enough. Fair Afterwards, enough. sure. Just like I, I say about Rich Franklin, greatest guy in the world. He was only unkind to me one night. It's not bad. And uh, we're waiting on Carlos Kramer as he makes his way up there with our official decision. But uh, as I said, you know, just incredible action here. And I, uh, fighters are leaving before they get their official announcement. They're not even going to get their big moment of glory here. As I believe Gamal is going to head to the back, maybe just from that damage.